Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to bookbind with a butterfly method. This is very similar to the double needle Coptic stitch method I've shown in the past. In fact, I think it's even easier than that. It's done with two needle sections, which alternate, but there is no looping or linking to other threads on the outside of the spine. This gives you a minimal look to the exposed binding and you can mix it up with alternating thread colors. Before we begin, do me a favor and give this video a like so the algorithm will share it. And if you want to help me rely less on the YouTube algorithm, consider becoming a patron or a member. You will get perks along with supporting my efforts to make more nerdy bookbinding content. For this book, I'll be using two sheets of cardstock for the covers and 32 sheets of letter size paper for the inside pages. Some patrons have already seen this, but in case you haven't, uh, this cardstock is actually a test print of my own pattern design for my own decorative paper, which I plan on selling in my Etsy shop sometime around the fall. I'm still testing out different paperweights and printers, so it's not available yet, but you can stay tuned for updates and you can also follow my vlog channel if you want to see the process that I'm going through while I figure out my first paper pack. Now I'm stacking four sheets together and folding them in half to make a signature. I made six signatures this way. For the front and back signature, I'm using three sheets of the white paper and putting that inside the cardstock. Folding it in half and making two of those. So total, I have eight signatures. This is what I wanted to work with, but feel free to adjust the number of signatures and use different covers if you'd like. Now I'm marking out where to make the binding holes on each signature with my binding guide and piercing through to make four evenly spaced holes. You can also do this process with an awl and a cutting mat. I did this to all eight signatures and now we can move on to the binding. I first learned how to do this method from this book by Keith Smith. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. According to this, the butterfly method was originally called the Japanese four needle sewing, but it was later called the butterfly so it wouldn't get confused with the Japanese four hole binding, which is a totally different binding, which I also have a tutorial for. This book helped me out, but I later found it easier to do it more like a two needle Coptic stitch method. If you've seen that tutorial of mine, you'll see later what I'm talking about. It's very similar. I'm working in sections of two and each section will need two needles, one on each end of the thread. To show you what two colors of thread looks like, I'll do one section in these two colors and then the other section in just one. To estimate the amount of thread, I like to string the thread along the width of the section just to get a good estimate, but honestly this binding doesn't take that much thread and this is way more than enough. I prefer a more grippy thread, so I'm running it along a piece of beeswax. Single threading a needle on each end of the thread. And for the two color section, I'm tying the ends in a knot. To start binding, I'm going from the inside of the signature to the outside with both needles and doing the same thing to the other section, which is the one color of thread, making sure each needle has an even amount of thread. Then returning all of the needles into the next signature. If you were binding on hard covers with this method, you would instead go through the holes on the cover and then return into the new signature. Now all of the sections of thread have been pulled in, they're going to alternate. So in this section, the green thread is going to the left and the purple thread is going to the right. Then I'm repeating that on the next section. So both sides of thread switch place. They cross over each other. Then return the needles through a new signature. As you work, you might want to take a second to tighten the threads so there's no looseness, but don't pull it too tight that it rips through your paper. Inside each signature, I'm doing the same thing on each section, crossing over the threads so that they come out on the opposite side.
On the section with two colors of thread, you'll start to see a cool pattern form where the colors alternate. And make sure you're not piercing through the other thread while you're pulling the needle through the outside of the signature. If your binding needle has a sharp tip, sometimes it could snag the other thread. When you reach the last signature, you can do the same process, pulling all needles to the inside, but instead of crossing them over, you're going to tie each section in a knot. And trim off any excess thread. This method doesn't give you any loops or stitches to the outside of the spine, giving you a minimal row of threads. I especially like the two colors, and you could use this in a combination with other two section methods, for example, using this with the two needle coptic stitch, or this with a French link stitch. And like other exposed bindings, this does help your book lay completely flat if you open the pages all the way. If you make your own version of this book, I would love to see it, so share it with me on my social links. And I want to say a big thanks to my studio support patrons and members. Subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post new videos. You can also jump into more binding methods in this playlist. All of these links are in the description, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!